the 13th of October and we are at Pentridge Village Hall in Derbyshire. I've come to the Pentridge Quilt Show. Um, not been to this one before, it's just a small show in the Village Hall but apparently I've been told there's going to be, it's going to be some really nice quilts so we've come to have a look at them and I'll show you what's here. <laughs> Lovely. Oh wow. Oh I like the look of that hamper. Yes. I've been looking at these online, these Sashiko templates, but they're quite expensive, aren't they? It is. Oh. Oh yes. See <laughs> <laughs> This is lovely, I like this one. It's a bit like an Irish chain, but stars in the middle. That looks like it's been finished on a long arm. That lovely, even quilt stitches. Cathedral window cushions. It's a nice bar jello. Yeah. Lovely. Priscilla Holiday. I wonder is that the name of the lady that made it? Let's have a look on the leaflet. Is this camera focusing? I do. Priscilla Holiday. What a cool name. Priscilla Holiday. That's really pretty. Oh, another one of that ladies. It's gorgeous. I love the colours. Oh, she's put like birds. She's fussy cut the fabric, so there's like a little bird in there. In the middle of all of them, look.
one. She made this by hand. Oh, she has. Look at those tiny hand stitches. So she's English paper piece. The whole thing. Wow. It's a massive quilt as well. Huge. This is another hand pieced one because you can see all the English paper piecing stitches. Wow. Oh, that's lovely. I love that one too. Wow. I love the colours. Uh, she's got like a rainbow effect and then going from pale pastel colours in the top right down to the darker navies in the bottom left. Oh wow, that's lovely. And then this is a replica of the 1718 coverlet, which if you saw my blog from the Festival of Quilts, you will have seen all of the um, replicas that were made of that. And this one says, a replica of the 1718 coverlet, the oldest known dated English patchwork. I have tried to make a faithful copy in silk and hand stitched. It took 18 months. Wow. Who made this one? Number 18. Susan Gilby. I saw this. We saw this at Birmingham. We saw this at Birmingham because I read her name out on the vlog. Yes, we did. This was one of the ones we saw at Birmingham. It was lovely. Wow. Gosh. I think she even hand stitched the blocks together. She did. Look. Wow. Wow. I would just never, ever have the patience to hand sew this, something like this together. I'm in the process of actually making my own version of the 1718 coverlet, but I am not hand stitching mine and machining it. It's amazing. Wow. What have we got here? Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, it's all like gardening themed. The fabric's all sort of garden themes. So it's flowers and then it's got like watering cans and bird houses and things. That's cute. Coffee and cake in there. Might be going in there in a bit. Let's have a look at this one. I can't really get in front of this one to show it you any better. It's like a huge modern star. It's lovely. Wow. Gosh, that's a big quilt. Wow, it's huge. What's this one? Oh, it's a nice by quilt. My daughter's got a nice by quilt that I made for her. These are great to make for kids because you put lots of as many different pictures and different fabrics in as you can find. And then they can play I Spy with it. Take it in the car, 
on journeys, when they go to sleepovers and things. Lovely. <gasps> Love you all. Work in progress. The seahorses are a monkey buttons pattern. The colours are based on a weedy sea dragon I photographed in Tasmania. The rest is my design and it is evolving. Oh wow. That's clever. Oh, these are all works in progress that the ladies are making, look. Oh, that's nice to show works in progress, isn't it? Look, that lady's done big basting stitches on that one. Getting it ready for quilting. That's pretty. Autumn challenge. Oh wow, well, look at that. It's tiny. Their cheese.